Hello everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into an important and timely topic MPOX, previously known as monkeypox. With recent developments in 2024, it's crucial to stay informed about this virus, its impact, and what you can do to protect yourself and others. Let's get started. At first, let me first introduce you to the basic characteristics of monkeypox disease. So, what exactly is MPOX? Monkeypox known as MPOX is a zoonotic virus, meaning it can be transmitted from animals to humans. It's caused by the MPOX virus, a member of the orthopox virus family which was also previously well known to cause the smallpox. Although MPOX shares some similarities with smallpox, it's generally less severe than smallpox. It can affect the individuals of all age groups but the children in endemic areas and unvaccinated younger adults in non-endemic regions are at higher risk. It can affect the individuals of any gender. Recent trends outside of endemic regions have shown higher incidence among males within specific communities. Let's move on the segment describing the strains of monkeypox. There are two distinct strains of monkeypox. They are Central African, Congo Basin, clade and the West African clade. Here, the Central African clade tends to cause more severe illness and has higher human-to-human -human transmission rates. Along with this, the case fatality rate of Central African clade is much higher in comparison to West African clade. The MPOX virus was first identified in 1958 among monkeys during research in laboratory. After this, the first human case of monkeypox was detected in 1970 in Democratic Republic of the Congo. This monkeypox is endemic in Central and Western African countries. However, nowadays, it has been reported from the non-endemic countries to the natural reservoir responsible for the causation of this disease is unknown. However, the rodents, like Squirrels and rats are actually believed to be the main carriers. Fast forward to 2024, and MPOX is back in the spotlight. This year, the World Health Organization has declared MPOX a public health emergency of international concern. There have been over 14,000 reported cases globally, with a significant number of deaths particularly in African countries like the Democratic Republic of the Congo and neighboring regions. And quote, what's especially concerning is the emergence of new virus strains, known as clades, which are spreading more rapidly and can be more severe. The clade 1b, for example, has shown a higher rate of transmission, making international cooperation essential to controlling these outbreaks. Now the next query is how monkeypox is transmitted. Basically, there are two major types of transmission of monkeypox. Firstly, it is transmitted from animal to human through direct contact with blood, bodily fluids, cutaneous, mucosal lesions of infected animals. The next one is human-to-human -human transmission which occurs through close direct contact with respiratory secretions, skin lesions and contaminated objects of infected individuals. Now next move on to symptoms and complications. The symptoms of MPOX typically appear within 3 to 17 days after exposure. Basically, there are two period of illness invasion period and skin eruption period. The invasion period usually lasts for five days which include fever, headache, and muscle aches. The skin eruption period starts after one to three of fever. A distinctive rash that 
progresses from flat lesions to pustules. The rash often starts on the face and then spreads to other parts of the body. Let's have a discussion on its complication. Usually this is a self-limiting disease resolving in two to four weeks. In few cases, the complications are observed which includes secondary bacterial infections, bronchopneumonia, sepsis, encephalitis and infection of cornea leading to vision loss. About 1% to 10% of cases of the monkeypox results in fatality. Do you know how monkeypox is diagnosed? Let's move on to it. The preferred method for the diagnosis of the monkeypox is PCR test, polymerase chain reaction. Besides this, serological test, electron, microscopy and viral culture are also used. After its diagnosis, we'll be focused on prevention of monkeypox. Preventing MPOX involves several steps. Vaccination is a key tool. Two WHO approved vaccines are currently available and have shown effectiveness in preventing the virus. In addition, practicing good hygiene, avoiding contact with infected individuals, and being cautious in environments where the virus might spread, like crowded events, are all crucial measures. And quote, Along with this surveillance, laboratory testing, and ensuring vaccines reach those who need them most assist the control of the MPOX. After discussing about prevention, the first question raised in the mind is this monkeypox treatable? Now, we'll discuss about its treatment. There are no specific treatment of this disease management. However, antiviral agents, Sodofovir, Brinsodofovir and Tacovarima, shown efficacy in animal models. Usually, supportive care is recommended for symptomatic management. To wrap up, staying informed and proactive is key to protecting yourself and your community from MPOX. If you're in a high-risk area or suspect you might have been exposed, don't hesitate to seek medical advice and consider getting vaccinated. And quote. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread awareness. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. If you want either notes or detailed description about any specific health topics then leave us the comment below. We'll try our best to cover the content in the upcoming video series.